Due to a severe lack of workers, the production of bots was increased to compensate for the workforce. With new bots getting delivered daily, this was the perfect opportunity for the insurgents to commence the next phase. They snuck a modified golem skull into the assembler, and once the construction was completed, it was time to execute the plan. The bot's instructions were to place an explosive at the bottom of the Temple of Water and set it off. This caused a massive explosion, destroying the iconic temple. The backup water source from under the temple flooded all over the plateau and caused more damage to the already battered crops and food sources. Meanwhile, our outcasts were still hard at work on making their own little community flourish. Hello and welcome to another episode in the Archibald Saga. Last episode, we placed down some of these water wheels to power our lumber mill and our gear factory. We put down some shrubs and some other things to get our well-being going. And we have some food production going. We got some dams placed to get to the other side. And uh, today, we'll continue getting our well-being up. And we also want to try to get to this metal and start collecting some scrap metal. What we're first going to do is pause this lumberjack flag. We currently have enough logs in store. We're going to unpause this because we want to get more science points because we want to unlock a lot of science things. We're also going to have less people working as constructors. We are going to place another gatherer flag right over here and we're going to prioritize chestnuts. Collecting chestnuts will uh, make another grill and get uh, grilled chestnuts going. That way we can uh, we can get two more points for well-being, if I'm correct. Yeah, grills chestnuts give us plus two points. We're going to try and get to the level 17 well-being so that this is 40% up. And uh, that will help a lot with getting more population. We are also going to start thinking about the staircase. We have eight pl planks in store. We can uh, unpause the... Um, lumber mill at some point and start working in there we're gonna go up here that way we get here we'll make a storage facility for scrap right over there we also forget to mark all of this to be cut we want all these birches gone and um, there is a guy in there i might pause that once we get the grill and then we have someone working in the grill so, to get our well-being up a little bit better, the nicest thing to get would be like a temple maybe. Well, that is 400 to unlock and it's quite a lot of materials. So, we're probably not going to do that. We have now another worker in the grill. We're grilling chestnuts. Or we soon will be. Because we are collecting them. That is going pretty well. We should store them somewhere though. So let's also make a storage facility for the chestnuts. We're going to do that right next door. So over here, we're going to store grilled chestnuts. Should be built pretty easy because those storage facilities only cost three logs, which is kind of cool that they don't cost a lot of materials. We're having the shower in use, so that is good. And we have two inventor huts now, so that is great as well. Let's continue with what we want to do with the staircases. We're going to go up in a straight line. Go ahead. And a scavenger flag is, I think, quite a bit to unlock. Yes, 250 as well. So we're going to wait with that. Let's make a log pile for storage at least. Scrap metal over here. So we can start collecting that. We need that for our bots at some point. Um, our forest is pretty pretty much grown and uh, that is great. We also want to start thinking about what we're going to do over here except for collecting chestnuts. Because this is probably all going to go. Maybe we'll keep the dandelions over here. But over here we would like to make a wheat farm so that we can start making bread at some point as well. However, that requires a lot of additional workers in our workforce and we don't have those yet. 
Um, this is pretty full still with blueberries, so we're good on that level. We'll, we'll, we're doing all right. We have more carrots coming in. We have some grilled potatoes. Uh, carrots is kind of going down, but we're collecting more, so that is okay. This dude is chopping down these trees over here. And uh, yeah, we're we're grilling, we're grilling the, the the chestnuts, so that's good. We're also finishing up this little storage facility. All right, so that is done, and yeah, let's think about what we want to unlock first. How how do we get more well-being without too much effort and um, too much requiring too much science points? The shrine is only a uh, hundred. To unlock so it's also pretty cheap to build so if we build a couple of those around here then uh, maybe we get another well-being point because the shrine is only is only one uh i think it's only one yeah it's only one yeah the temple would be great but the temple is just 400 we can wait for that maybe let's let's wait for that let's just get 400 science points and then uh then we uh can, can make a temple right over here. And that is five points. And that will help a lot to get into that 17 that we need. Hopefully we're going up one level because we have grilled chestnuts now. We have, they're, they're eating them. So we we're, are at level 12 now. Average well-being is level 12. So we only need five points. And uh, that will still take a bit. All right, let's start planning some stuff. We said earlier that this is going to be the place where we're going to make our housing. What we're going to do maybe for the moment is we could easily make a rooftop terrace on top of this. It will cost us some planks, so we do need to get a worker inside our um, lumber mill. And there we go. We have a worker now in there. We have actually 13 beavers. We have actually 14 beavers. So that is great news. We have the additional one. So let it work immediately. Making planks. We're going to prioritize this. Instead of this. Because we want to get that rooftop terrace. That is another. Well-being point. There we go. Right. So. Over on this side. We can make a road see how far we can get just go on the side there we go how far do we reach not that far so we we would need another crossing right over here to get to make use of this they're probably gonna be these two that go away and then we'll cross over here and look at that we have 13 well-being points that is amazing news that means we're only four away from getting that um, extra life expectancy, which we also just dropped to beavers died of old age. Um, yeah, it is a little bit of a juggling around now with the with our beavers. We do not have any inventors right now, so that is kind of sad. The builder is working hard at this. So hopefully we'll get another kit soon. And, uh, uh, it's not even halfway. So, that is going to take a while. Um, but let's see what we want to do. Maybe we do unlock the shrine in first. Just to get, to get that going. We'll build two of those. Give that also a little bit of priority. Maybe not that high. There we go. And then they can work on all of that at some other point. Okay. So we have the two platforms done. Now they're working on the um, staircase going up. And then they can do the easy thing. And uh, oh, they're already working on that. Because we have plenty of logs. It's just waiting for more uh, planks. All right. So as soon as we have the planks for this, we're, uh, we'll, we'll keep it at that. We'll pause this again. Move it into the inventor hut. Because we really need those science points. Now, we're going to go ahead and go here. So, this is going to be what we're going to be building here. And we're going to make a staircase right there as well. And then we'll make a path and connect it up like that. 
so that we can get here. We will set this at very low priority because we are not in a hurry to make any of that. Now we have the staircase up and we're almost done with the um, rooftop terrace. And then we can start working on those things. They're already chugging logs in there. So the shrines will be done soon as well. Yeah, this is uh, this is going all right. Um, we have full, fully storage uh, chestnuts. We can pause this guy and let him go in an infantry hut for the moment, because he is not doing anything. So the potatoes, on the other hand, they we still need those. Uh, well, we're kind of full as that as well. Carrots. Okay, so the food is doing all right. We just got to keep an eye on the grilled chestnuts. As soon as that drops, we should turn it on again. All right, and we have the rooftop terrace. So they will visit there. And we have a drought incoming. Well, that is something. That is definitely going to be a four-day drought, I think. Should, should be starting there. Okay, we are collecting dandelions as well. That's okay. We can uh, we can use them eventually. There we go. That is our 14. That is because of the rooftop terrace and maybe because of the shrine. We have another one coming soon. And they can all shift around and go wherever they want. A messenger arrived, bringing our outcasts the news of the second attack. They were informed that the sycophants were also accusing our innocent colony for this second explosion and damages. Expect retaliation was the final message before the courier returned home. Well, it looks like the other beavers are up to no good either. And uh, we'll guess we have to see what's coming to us. Hopefully it won't be anything too massive. We probably want to keep an eye on that. Not sure how we're going to do that, but um, we are one birch away from cleaning up this plateau. Then we'll pause this one. Well, that gives us another beaver to fill another job because it looks like we need something somewhere. We'll do that in the morning. We're also having two inventors. Well, we actually have one, but this one will become an inventor soon enough. We have two baby beavers, so that is good. Hopefully one of them grows up soon. There we go. One of them grew up and is now an inventor. This guy is not cutting this down because this is closer, I think. I want to cut this. Well, maybe we just get rid of it. There we go. And we're going to pause this. You don't need to be there. We have a one beaver now ready. We're going to go ahead and grill some chestnuts. And how are we doing with planks? We have plenty of planks. Oh, they're already working on this. So we're, we're going to keep the planks rolling as long as we have power. As soon as the drought hits, the power will go down and we'll pause this building. That makes no sense to keep going then. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to build another inventor hut. Because as soon as we have one of them um, available, an additional one will place it in here to get those points rolling. The inventor should be build pretty quickly because it's just 12 logs and uh yeah we'll uh we might even pause the the builder and in that case um we'll just have this guy now inventing things and we'll we'll wait with this until a later moment we don't need it right now what we can do um is unmark this for crops so as soon as they have harvested this, we can put down a path right there. Okay, the drought will be here shortly. We're uh, at 177 science points. We're we're having three now, so it goes a lot quicker. Um, we're gonna keep the hours at 16. I was thinking, considering maybe put it to 18, because usually I play on on 18. But we need them to work less hours, so there's more free time and in that free time they can get their well-being points up 
easier because if the rooftop terrace for example is full then if you have more hours for different beavers they can go there whenever they want to um one of the beavers died of old age so that is unfortunate so we're sticking around 12 13 beavers at a time we definitely need to get that well-being up. We have a very long drought, considering the last one was only three days. This one is six days, so that's double uh, double time. We should be all right, though. Um, I think that we're going to pause this building for the moment so that the water stays in here longer um, and our crops don't dry out. This part I don't care for at the moment. Somehow it's still using power, making power. I'm going to pause this. It does matter. We don't really need any planks right now. What we could do is um, use another inventor. Or maybe we can cut down some trees. We can cut down some trees over here. That is okay. And yeah, we're going to plan ahead. Scavenger flag comes here. And we'll uh we'll have some metal production over here we're gonna do more housing if needed for now we don't need it because we have two buildings that can house eight each and so uh, we should be all right did i say that correct this is eight. Oh, it's 10 even so we have plenty of room to grow we don't need any housing but what we have the thing we want to unlock first is the temple for five and then we do need quite a bit of planks so um as soon as power is back we're gonna go ahead and make some more planks we have 13 now we might want to add another storage for planks just so that we have some over here um where do we want to put that do we want to put a big we could maybe set this to planks for now and then um then that's okay because we need 150 planks or how many for the temple 60 planks 150 logs 60 planks so yeah we'll fill this with with planks as soon as we can and then we'll uh, make a temple somewhere here the logs should not be an issue because we have so many maple trees right now and uh we make sure that we keep planting them even though we didn't really need to have this guy working there while we had all of them paused but yeah, it's alright for now. Just cut them down and plant them immediately again. Um, yeah, the metal production in this episode is going to be a little bit more difficult to accomplish. But we'll be, we'll be okay. Because otherwise we could do a beaver statue, which is also three points, I think. And... Uh, oh. Yeah, the beavers... Oh, it's only two points. So, 30 metal is not worth it. That is too much. Okay, so... We can diversify the food a little bit more. Once we get there. Um, medical beds. Do we need them yet? No, we don't need them yet. We only have these two. And the uh, lumber uh, mill doesn't really hurt our beavers that much. Anyways. We're over halfway through the drought and we are doing okay with the berries yeah we are doing okay with the berries still and we are doing okay with all the other food as well we have a lot of grilled potatoes yeah that's completely filled to the brim um do we want to make a big storage for it and then swap some over to um grilled chestnuts we could do that we could make a big storage for our... Well, that is 250. Let's not do that. We have 400 science points now, so we can actually unlock the temple. Well, tomorrow. They all... All three of them only have to do one more go at it. We have one unemployed beaver, so let's put that to use. Um, where are you going to work? It doesn't really... We don't really have anything that we want to do other than science at this point. So... Let's unlock the temple and let's unpause that. Then at least we have a beaver there again. Unlock the temple, 400 points. Okay, so where do we place it? I think I think over here near our main area. Or do we put it up here? That could be a nice thing, right? This is a nice location. Let's place a temple there. 
And we're going to connect this up. There we go. And now we're going to pause one of these guys. Because we want him to start chugging logs into this thing. Because that is going to take a minute. And then we're going to go ahead and unpause this building in one day. Because the drought will be over and we'll have power again. How much logs do we have? We have 150 logs. We are going to fill it up a little bit more. Because, um, yeah, we kind of need that for our grills and stuff. The next thing we want to unlock is maybe then the scavenger flag. So we can start doing that because I kind of want to do that this episode. So I'm going to set this back to scrap metal. We'll just keep the store over here. Um, we'll just add another small storage unit for more planks. There we go. Going to set this to high priority. Make some logs because it's only four, four logs. So you should have that done very soon. Kind of wish there was a quicker way down here. We could figure that out at some point, but for now it's all right. So this is already getting some logs. Um, scavenger flag is 250. What kind of food do we want to make? We want to make an aquatic farm for this area as well. So that could be the first thing we do over here. And we are in range... Are we not? Yeah, we can make an aquatic farm over here. Um. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll wait with that as well. I don't know. It would be nice to have more foods. But the temple is the most important thing right now. So that we can get those nice points going. And that it doesn't really matter if it fluctuates a little. Because, you know... It is what it is. We're going to go ahead and add another guy to this building facility. I'm going to pause another inventor for the moment. And run some logs up here. Would be nice if we could finish this. We are going to unpause this one because we kind of need that. And in the meantime, we are going to pause. Um, What are we going to pause? Yeah, we can pause this one for the moment. We have quite a bit still. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. In here. We still have 20. Yeah, we have logs. It's it's all right. I guess they can't really reach that to be destroyed. So let's make a path. And give that priority. Just chop it down. We don't need it. Okay, this is at 48. And we're working on planks. We have 15 in here and we're just chugging away and making more in there. Um, right. We kind of do want to keep the planks or the logs going as well. It's so difficult to, to only have, because now we only have 10 beavers and we have two kids, but yeah, we definitely need that life expectancy going up. Otherwise, this is going to be a long time to get somewhere. So, yeah. Let's, um... These guys are just chugging chugging logs. They can keep doing that for the moment. But I do want to unpause this flag and uh, get that going. At least we have 11. We have one... We have one... Lumberjack, no. Which one is the grill? The grill is not... Grilled chestnuts. We're not making any grilled chestnuts. Mmm, that is kind of a... Situation, huh? And we still have this one paused. But we do have enough water. So, I'm gonna leave that paused. Um... Yeah, let's... We need to pause something. We are building, but... I'm going to go ahead and let one guy do the temple. It's it's taking a lot of time to get every everything there, but at least this is going. We have planks. In the, in the meantime, the planks are still going, so it's okay. 
And we do want to keep going with the inventor as well. Because we want to unlock that scavenger flag so we can start filling up this thing. Oh, there's a little bit of a flooding going on here. Oh, uh, that might just be a temporary thing. But that meant that this got filled with water. It hit the it hit the dam and then the water flows back and the backflow, yeah. Crashes the water and that fills this it. That is funny. So scavenger flag 250. We're uh, at 182, three. Planks are filled. This is 30. That's good. We're still chopping down the trees. So we're getting logs, but not a whole lot of logs. This is still filled. Um, we cannot say that they should focus on, on maple first. Otherwise, I would do that. But... Yeah, it's 118 out of 150. So, we're going there. Yeah, I'm going to pause this for the moment. Let the guy work in the inventor hut instead. So, we get more science points. And then, in the meantime, we're chopping down trees and getting our planks ready. Because as soon as these both are filled with planks... Um, they will be brought here and uh oh they already brought planks over here that is not really what we want so we're gonna pause this as buildings because we want all the planks to go here so as soon as this is filled with planks and this is filled with planks and this one is filled with planks we have enough for this one or nearly enough Science points are almost there, and as soon as we have 250, we're going to pause these, and then we can work. Have another ad additional uh, lumberjack, and uh, that should get us to where we want to be. Alright, so. We have land over here that we want to strip. That is going to probably be the next episode. We're going to focus on this part. Get this get this going to this side and have some weed farms over here or something. And maybe aquatic farms for this area as well. Because this is the, 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 the main area that we're going to keep irrigated throughout the droughts. And we'll use this to, uh, to pump out water. That seems like a good plan. Okay, this guy is no longer employed. So that is kind of... A thing but we have enough so we're gonna pause these two and we're gonna unpause that and that means we can unlock the scavenger flag all right there we go get a scavenger flag built up there but then we also need someone to work there so uh that's probably gonna be this guy once we're done making all the planks that we need for our um temple all right, so we're chugging logs there now. There is a guy over here that is injured. So we do have an injury. It will heal over time, but it is not very nice that we have that now. So as soon as we have a guy available again, we're going to do some science points and we're going to unlock the medical bed as soon as we can because it, it heals them just a little bit quicker. 130 out of 150. Scavenger flag is also built almost. We can, uh, we don't really need to hurry up with that because we don't have the beavers anyways. Logs, we're doing all right with logs. We're just going to keep that going. We need 14 more and then 80, um, 80 in there. That's okay, we have two kits again. But yeah, one one pot is making it a little bit difficult, but it is what it is. We're gonna keep with the challenge. We just need to up the well-being and get to those bots. This will help a lot. It will make everything go quicker. And with everything going quicker, um, we'll get to bots quicker as well. So hopefully that's only a couple more episodes to get the first bots rolling. We do need, like, an engine then, but 
with a hauling post and having one hauler that should keep the keep the engine supplied with power. We should we should be alright. We should be able to figure it out. Um, all right, so we have all the logs brought here. Now it's bringing planks. That's four at a time. We probably don't have enough planks yet. We have 37. And he's bringing two at a time. So that's probably going to be the finish in the next episode. But then we'll get our well-being up. And we'll have an additional beaver uh, work available for our, uh, for our workforce. Anyway, I hope you're still enjoying this series and I hope you like the story elements that I'm putting in. Please let me know in the comments what you think and we'll be back with the next episode and we'll wonder what's going to happen. I'll see you all soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.